All right, um, hope I'm coming through clear. It's almost uh, 11, 11.45 where I'm at. And uh, this is one of the, this is probably the oddest video I've ever done on the channel because it's going to be a black screen the entire time. So um, you don't have to pay attention to the screen. There's uh, no introduction, you know, no video to that. I think I might add the outro to this video just to have some form of um, normalcy here, if I guess is the right word to put it. But if you followed me, now I wanted to, I didn't want to do this. Like I didn't want to do this video. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably already know because you know, today it is January the 6th and I'm sorry if I'm like, I, I, my thoughts are just not together right now, but I did a lot of videos today, you know, obviously between the past 24, 48 hours, you know, I figured, you know what, hey, the haves and the have nots coming back on uh, January the 8th, let me go ahead and get all this stuff on the channel right away, uh, just because, you know, when the show comes back on, everything's going to be back to normal in terms of, uh, okay, here's my schedule, Tuesday's the episode, trailer breakdown, episode review, all that good stuff. And, you know, with the R. Kelly thing, um, you know, help trying to help John Snyder out by promoting um, his website, uh, talking about some things in the news that I don't really talk about on the normal schedule for the channel. But I figure once again, with the haves and have nots on break, uh, now would be a perfect time to, you know, kind of voice my opinion on that stuff. And I said, you know what, let me go ahead and show my face because I haven't done live streams in a while since like uh, the beginning of the year, like, you know, New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. So I figured I'd do my usual routine. Let me go ahead and do maybe a 20-minute Instagram live video, depending on how many people come aboard. And, um, you know, after that, go over to YouTube, say, hey, how's it going? And, you know, just go about my night. And uh, during my Instagram live, uh, you know, I was talking with some fans and was like, yep. Yeah. Uh, somebody was saying there was a trailer up and I didn't believe them. And I'm just like, look, I know my fans like, or my followers, if there was some form of a trailer, I would have gotten at least 150 inboxes or tweets or people telling me, yo, check this out right now. So I decided to follow up. I went on Twitter, didn't see anything on the own tweet, uh, Twitter account. I went on uh, YouTube. I didn't see anything on the own YouTube. Went to the haves and the have nots Facebook page, didn't see anything. And to round it out, it's like, yo, let me go ahead, check on own. And this was during, this is not, this literally happened during the live stream on Instagram. And I was on it, um, Facebook, went to the homepage, was about to scroll down. And then I just saw that, um, you know, like a crush of mine, a close friend actually got into a relationship. Like literally the update popped up when I was scrolling and I literally froze. And this happened on Instagram live. This, this is the, I feel like Kevin Hart. Like this is this isn't a drill. This is the real deal. Like I tried to keep my composure as best I could, and I'm glad this didn't happen on YouTube. But um, I, you know, tried to handle myself. I'm like, look, okay, I'm going to end this live stream now. So yeah, I pretty much ended that. And if you follow me on Instagram, and this sounds weird to say, but yeah, if if you follow me on Instagram, you know, the link to my Instagrams in the description as always. I just made a post earlier tonight about how I'm going on hiatus because uh, I just my heart isn't in it right now and it sucks and it really sucks to do a video like this to be open with my feelings because this isn't something I usually do and I feel bad mainly because earlier today I recorded a video about you know running your race in 2019 like you know being positive, setting goals, not in, in that video, I even talked about, yo, don't let social media bring you down just because someone else is, you know, they got their dream job. They're moving to another state for their job or whatever the case may be. Um, they, you know, had a new baby or going back, you know, they just graduated or uh, more specifically to this situation. Um, uh, somebody got engaged, got married or in a relationship and, I feel horrible about myself right now because I feel like that video was made when I was in a good mood. And even in that, I think at the end of the video, I said, look, you know, what? I might sound hypocritical doing this video because I don't know how I'm going to feel two or three days from now. Maybe I'll be back in a depressional funk like I was on January the 1st. And I am definitely in a funk right now. 
And um, this is odd because it's like one of those things. Well, Jeremy, you know, how wh why are you broken over this? It's like it wasn't even your girlfriend. It's like one of those things where it's someone who, you know, was going through something and pretty much open all their dirty laundry and all to you. And you kind of help them cope through that. And, you know, last time I saw her was like right before Thanksgiving. She came over, we hung out for a little bit. Uh, then she went home, I went home, and I think we talked maybe twice after that, and, you know, I sent her a message like, hey, I hope you had a good Christmas, it went unanswered, and next thing you know, just like that, so, I know it might seem corny to some, but I'm a person that doesn't really handle rejection well, or loss, or failure, so to speak, and you all know from my post that I'm introverted, so I do, when I do go out, you know, it's you know, to have fun. And if I do get close to someone, then I treat that very seriously in terms of I don't really open up much and because of being hurt in the past. And this was definitely one of those moments like it was probably not one of my finest hours. Like I said, uh, I don't even want to go back and look at the live stream, but I just, you know, it'll go away in 24 hours. But this this was real. This was not a stunt. This wasn't a joke. This wasn't a gimmick like I was literally trying to fight back tears on that live stream because I was like, okay, I got to keep myself in control. I think maybe eight or 10 people were watching at that very moment. But um, as soon as I got off, you know, I just walked around the apartment. I'm still here by myself. Roommate's still on vacation. I just uh, walked around, you know, just blew off some steam. Like, again, I don't drink. I don't inflict harm on myself. I don't do drugs or anything. It's just like, it's just a heavy blow to my heart. And uh, I was literally physically in pain. Like I could barely move because it hurt that fucking bad. And even now I'm just struggling to get through this because I feel like, you know, as someone with as many uh, dedicated followers as I, I have and I'm blessed to have, I just didn't want to disappear and then have people, you know, blowing up my inbox all week. Like, yo, where are you at? The episode is on or we finally got a trailer or whatever. I didn't want to be that person because uh, this video is pretty much my last post as of right now. Like, I'm done social media. I'm just done. Like, I'm just fucking done right now. I'm just broken. So, excuse me. Um, this isn't me quitting the channel or anything. Trust and believe. Um, I, I need. I, I, I plan on hopefully getting it together soon. But um, I don't think it's going to happen, like, overnight. This is some hurtful shit. But, uh... If, if I'm up for it, you know, if I'm in better spirits come Tuesday, I will, uh, sorry, I'm sorry. If I'm up for it, I will, uh, do my episode review like usual, my trailer breakdown, and, uh, I will get back to work, but, yeah, I just feel horrible about myself because, again, in that video, I'm like, yo, I went on, like, what Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, I like cleaned up everything. I followed a bunch of people, a bunch of accounts. You know, I didn't want any negativity to start off 2019 and I felt good. Like I really felt like I was moving in the right direction, being more positive. And then just one freaking post on Facebook has me broken. And I feel like everything that I've emotionally worked for over the past few days is worthless. And, uh, yeah, I just don't know how to deal with this, but it's just one of those things. I mean, most people would say being alone isn't the best answer, but then if I am with someone, then I might open up emotionally and then I'll feel vulnerable. Then what if I get hurt again? So I don't really want to deal with that. But like, I don't know, it reminds me of that scene in Purple Rain where Prince is talking to the little puppet in the uh, mirror where he's like, all you need is me. I don't know. Life's a bitch. <laughs> I know that's a poor Im imitation, but I'm literally not at 100% right now. And I keep, I, after it happened, after I got off the live stream, like, yo, Jeremy, you got to get yourself together. Remember, this is your year. You're going to hit 100,000 subscribers. Tyler Perry might contact you. This is the season that's going to make your pl uh, channel blow up. But I literally have no desire. It's like gone for right now. It's like one of those things where you just freeze in place. Like I, I shit you not. Like when I was on that live stream and saw it, because remember I got off the haves and have not Facebook page. I was going to own and my news feed literally refreshed itself. And it was right there. Boom. Like right there in my face. And that shit hurt. So, um, I don't know. This is 
I don't want to say it's goodbye, but it's more like a see you later. Uh, like I said, I don't know how long I'm going to be gone. I just need to deal with this somehow. I just know that being online obviously isn't the answer. So I just no Facebook, no Twitter, no Instagram, no YouTube. I'll probably just listen to Spotify or something. I'll watch some movies. But lastly, I just want to say I'm sorry if I let anybody down. Like if I am not back mentally, emotionally by Tuesday night during the premiere or if for whatever reason that own decides to drop a trailer today on a, or excuse me on Monday or Tuesday and I'm not here to review it right away I apologize because I know a lot of people depend on me to um, do my my videos quickly professionally and as in depth as possible because I know some people uh, don't have own. I've had people um, over the past few weeks over the hiatus tell me, you know, hey, I don't really watch the show anymore, but um, I watch your channel to catch up on everything and I appreciate it. Or, hey, I'm new to the show and um, I use your channel to get intel about it and just get more. I've communicated with other fans about it. I love your Facebook group. That's a great way for me to interact with more people who love the show uh, because in where I live at, there are not too many people that watch it. So you're. Your social media has really helped me connect with others. And yeah, because if I think about letting people down, that I'll be even more depressed and I don't want to do that right now. But uh, guys, if you made it this far in the video, I appreciate it. And this isn't me asking for sympathy. It's just that I hope you understand that if I don't have my videos up like I usually do on Tuesday or Wednesday, then you know why, because yeah heartbreak sucks and um i i will uh hopefully be able to deal with this very soon but again i want to thank you all for you know supporting me and i know that i need to get back on track soon because this is how i make a living and just like what hannah was saying back in season one you know when benny would walk into uh the kitchen or uh, knock on her bedroom door, walk in and see her, you know, passed out with bills all in front of her. It's like, look, I might be tired, but these bills don't get tired of coming. So uh, YouTube is my main source of income. So I I'll be back. I don't know when, though. And yeah, so, you know, on a more positive note, if you will, uh, do what you can. If you can help John Snyder, like I said, my videos up uh, talking about that. I don't think I want to be finishing the R. Kelly thing anytime soon. I just need to cope with this. And yeah, so I guess this is it for now. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in. I know this video was not on a positive topic. Like, you know, dude, you uploaded like eight, 12 videos over the past couple of days engaging. And now you're all depressed and I'm sorry. So. I'm going on hiatus. I hope to talk to you soon and hope everybody has a wonderful week. Congratulations on making it to the end of this video. If you like what you saw, be sure to hit that thumbs up button as well as leaving your thoughts in the comment section below so we can keep the conversation going. On the left hand side of the screen, you should see a picture of Jeffrey Harrington. You can click on him in order to subscribe, but also hit the bell notification icon. That way you don't miss out on any new content. Also, you should see some videos appearing on the screen as well that I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy if you enjoyed the one you just saw. But also, be sure to follow me on social media such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all my social media will be in the description below. And in order to help this channel hit 100,000 subscribers, I'm going to need your help. So make sure to share this video as well as the channel around with all of your friends on your own social media. But once again, thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you all in the next video.